Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing really great and we're going to be taking a look at the latest for our disturbances out there in the Atlantic. There's that disturbance about to make its way into the Caribbean that we could see develop into something and there are a couple more out there. The one that's going to be making its way into the Gulf and the potential is there that we could see a hurricane very soon. Models have been trending towards something quite interesting and I want to take you guys through it. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. And I also want to direct you guys to my friend Dave's channel. He's really amazing at what he does and uh, his channel is WX Center Nazario. So you can check the pinned comments for the link that takes you there and you can go ahead and subscribe and check out his latest updates. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at what is happening across the tropics. And here we can see that we've got our four systems out there, a lot going on right now. Another tropical wave is going to be emerging from the coast of Africa. And uh, let's first zoom into the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so here we can see that there is a lot of moisture up here so we've got our disturbance that will be moving into the gulf as we head into the new week and it could try to form into something so the formation chance for it has increased to 50 percent and uh zero percent through the next two days so 50 percent through the next seven days but for the next two days it is unlikely to become anything significant but that chance will gradually increase if it seems as though the system will get itself together but for now it's going to be producing heavy rains across parts of the northern caribbean and in the Bahamas, also going to parts of South Florida as well. So uh, those areas are likely to experience some periods of very heavy rainfall. Even for the Cayman Islands, we see some thunderstorms nearby. Similar story for Jamaica. So heavy rainfall expected through today. And we'll be looking at the rainfall map very shortly. Over into Central America, nothing too crazy going on. We see most of that activity down in uh, parts of Panama, offshore of Panama right there. And as we head into the vicinity of the ABC Islands, especially near Aruba, there is some thunderstorm activity so hopefully there will actually be some substantial rainfall there because it has been pretty hot and dry now let's drift further to the east and here we can see that we've got our blob headed to the region so this is coming in with a lot of heavy rainfall which is likely to induce flooding across some areas so trinidad tobago grenada the grenadines uh saint vincent even going up into saint lucia barbados you want to keep an eye on this for potential flooding today even other areas further up north martinique could also experience some periods of heavy rainfall so we're talking about an unnamed and unorganized system so the rainfall activity it can be quite widespread and there we have our next disturbance 99l which is continuing to lose its potential to become something so the chance for it is decreasing but as of right now uh, we can see that there is some activity across some parts of northern south america and going into the aforementioned areas of the lesser antilles there is likely some cloud cover maybe even some rainfall as well and so with all of this rainfall moving in ahead of the disturbance what we're going to see as well is that uh, the soil is saturated for some spots so that is going to make those areas a bit more prone to flooding because the water cannot infiltrate very quickly so it kind of just piles up on the surface and uh, even increase the risk of those mudslides landslides across those hilly areas so guys you really want to be on watch for this and please take all the necessary precautions ahead of it we don't have a name system and it isn't currently given a high chance to develop, but it could bring impacts that will make you think that there's a tropical storm moving through the heavy rainfall, the gusty winds at times. So again, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks. Let's go out further into the Atlantic and here we can see that we've got 98L. So 98L, it is definitely rotating out there, but it is unorganized. So let's see if it will take advantage of conditions to try to become a tropical depression sometime soon. And then eventually, if we have a named storm, the next name is Emily. So let's see where emily is going to develop but uh it has been delayed for some time now now as we go back to these disturbances here we have the map uh we already looked at that one headed to the gulf 50 percent chance to develop through seven days as we look at this next one here 99l we can see that the chance has decreased 
thirty percent uh chance of seeing development out there. So those upper level winds are increasing, and that is going to be uh preventing the system from any further intensification. And uh, there's also some dry air in the region. And then as we take a look at ninety eight, although we can see here that it is given a seventy percent chance to develop well to the west of the Cabo Verde Islands, and it is going to move to the northwest. So it has some limited time to get itself together out there as well. So let's see what it does. And then we've got our Caribbean disturbance, not yet designated as an invest, but as I said, it's going to be moving in with all that rainfall. Now, everywhere in the east should be keeping watch on this. So as I said before, it's disorganized right now, and now we're not talking about something defined. So that rainfall activity, it could be quite widespread as we head into the new week, and that flood potential is going to be there and we're seeing this sort of change here where this westward to west northwestward track is expected now should it be on this trajectory other areas such as jamaica even cuba could be impacted by this so models are still suggesting that it is going to be making that turn up to the north but it's just a matter of when it will do so will it do so sooner or later based on what the national hurricane center has it could do so later there is a lot down the road that we have to be paying attention to because uh, there is no certainty at this point in time. Now, let's uh, go ahead and look at conditions out there. As we look at this map here of the wind shear, it might be a little bit confusing, but there we have the white outline of the different areas. There's the Caribbean, and uh, we see these colored lines, green, yellow, red. So green areas uh, represent favorable upper level winds so the upper level winds aren't too strong they aren't interfering much with our organizing systems then we have the uh, yellow areas which indicate neutral shear so neutral shear not too impactful but still could uh, pose a little problem and then the red areas unfavorable share so when the wind shear is unfavorable what happens is that it really just cuts off those thunderstorms it prevents them from growing and intensifying so overall it inhibits intensification of the uh, disturbances trying to develop and so we can see that the wind shear is increasing as we look at the vicinity of 99 l even for 98 l as well so conditions will get increasingly unfavorable over the next couple of days and then ahead of the caribbean disturbance in the east Eastern and Central Caribbean, there is some unfavorable shear, but things could get a bit more conducive as we head into next week, and it might try to get itself together in the eastern part of the basin. And so now on to the dry air map. So there is still some substantial amount of dry air out there, even across parts of the northeastern Caribbean, but we can see that things are getting more moist. There is this clear path uh, of moisture for the future tropical waves. And as a matter of fact, that explains why more Models have been hinting at a potential hurricane, which will be going on to those very shortly. So what I mentioned earlier uh, in previous updates is coming true. These waves, these systems moving through, helping to create a more conducive environment for the future ones to develop. And with the other uh, environmental conditions being conducive, then definite intensification. And we know that the waters are hot out there. Looking at this map here, we can see that for sure, especially in the Gulf and in parts of the Caribbean, even off northern on uh, northeastern South America, we see that 30 degrees Celsius acetherm, but systems don't usually move that south. So uh, going closer to the Caribbean, it gets warmer. And overall for the North Atlantic, the surface waters are above average. So this is going to be aiding in intensification. So let's actually go on to the rainfall map for today. So we're looking at the Euro map here and we can see that uh, the more colorful areas, the oranges, the reds, that is where a lot of heavy rainfall is expected, even that purple shade. So for parts of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, most of Northern South America, but uh, in terms of the Guyanas, for Guyana actually, most of the rainfall activity is likely for these spots. So there's that disturbance in the area, that daytime heating, so there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall in some spots. And then of course, the Lesser Antilles, Euro has it that from Trinidad, Tobago, Grenada, Barbados, and then as we head up to around Guadeloupe, there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall within these spots. The chance of some rainfall decreases as we head further up into the rest of the Leeward Islands. There could still be some periods of heavy rainfall, but not a whole lot is expected. Uh, there could be some showers popping up across some spots in Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. Not a whole lot likely. Similar story for parts of Hispaniola, but as we head to Jamaica, maybe the Cayman Islands, parts of Cuba, most of the Bahamas and South Florida, there could be some substantial rain as we head through today.
but it won't be the case for everywhere. For example, in Cuba and Jamaica, not everywhere will be experiencing the same kind of rainfall. But for the spots that do, there could be some periods of heavy downpour. The ABC Islands, hopefully there will be some rainfall, as I said earlier. And so finally, we're looking at what models have to show as we're going to be heading into this week. So uh, there we have the forecast time there. And uh, all these colors, these greens, yellows, they represent the precipitation rate. So we're looking for those circular lines called isobars and they join areas of equal pressure. Now this is as we head into Tuesday of next week. So we can see that GFS isn't showing a whole lot happening. That's Caribbean system moving in, that Gulf system, 98L out there, and then that new tropical wave to emerge off Africa. Now that wave is forecast to continue mostly on a westward track. As we head to one week after Tuesday the 29th, here we are seeing this system, potentially a major hurricane. We see a pressure here of 966 millibars and then as we head to Friday of that week we can see that uh, the system continues but then it starts to make that curve around that area of high pressure there's another wave off of Africa and as it moves up uh, we can see that next one moving west two of those actually but that one uh, expected to develop out there now this is looking pretty interesting uh, to say the least and then and so there's no guarantee that this will happen but other models are also sniffing at it so go into uh, the Canadian model as we head to Tuesday we see that Gulf system that Caribbean system there and also or other disturbances there's that new tropical wave and then as we head to Saturday of next week here we can see that Caribbean system lifting up that was what was in the Caribbean by the way so Canadian wants to take this uh, system out of the Caribbean and intensify it into a hurricane and then another storm uh, coming from moisture pushing from the eastern Pacific and then that tropical wave continuing as it intensifies eventually as we head to Tuesday the 29th here we can see that Canadian is expecting that hey we're gonna have uh, the system continuing maybe missing the Caribbean based on the looks of it and uh, those others out there Euro has also been sniffing at this Tuesday of this week we've got our four systems out there that's our new tropical wave and then as we head to Friday uh, it is expecting that we might see something also coming from the Pacific and this isn't something new by the way models have been hinting at this actually happening either the Bay of Campeche or the Western Caribbean so let's see what's going to be happening but as we head to Tuesday the 29th Euro here is expecting that we are going to see something in the Gulf intensifying and then that uh, system coming from the main development region that tropical wave intensifying finally the icon model so this is as we head to saturday the end of next week icon is also expecting development but not showing that it will be a problem for anyone there we have that intensifying storm so maybe that caribbean system moving out so very interesting here guys uh this doesn't seem like something impossible because we are heading into that peak uh, into the peak of the hurricane season which is next month and i've said finally quite a number of times but finally we're going into the east Pacific looking at Hurricane Hillary which is a threat to land. It currently has maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour so it is a category 4 hurricane but thankfully it should be rapidly weakening on approach to land. Uh, those waters are going to get much cooler out there and as it moves inland it is going to be cut off from its source of energy and thus a lot more weakening happening very quickly. So as we look at the uh, this map here we can see that it has prompted many watches and warnings hurricane warning in effect for parts of the northwestern baja california peninsula and that tropical storm warning extended from parts of southern california into mexico so uh this is not something that you would see often this is a rare scenario here but this will be unleashing a lot of heavy rainfall that storm surge even the uh strong winds could pose a problem as well and those increased rip currents and so a lot is on the way guys as we're going to be heading into later today going into tomorrow and uh, I really hope that everyone will be okay. Please take necessary precautions, listen to your local officials, and stay safe. And so that is pretty much it for this update. And I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance to. And as always, remember to be otherwise.